I had a comment from someone who was very disappointed that they were 10 miles from a Tesla supercharger. Well, I'll tell you a bit later uh, how far I am from a Tesla supercharger. And I defy anyone watching this to be uh, further than me. And also where my nearest public charger is and how long it would take me to get there. I think you're going to be a bit surprised. Charging at home is incredibly easy and extremely cheap and I'll tell you exactly how cheap it is. Only takes a few seconds to plug in. Hello, I'm Nigel. Hope you can subscribe and like. Welcome to the channel and I really hope you do enjoy and please leave any comments down below. It's true, not everybody can charge at home. Uh, but some figures uh, I found here say that 84% of EV drivers have access to charging point at home, uh, a figure which has remained relatively constant since 2019. And a vast majority, 90% of EV drivers, use the UK's public charging network on a regular basis. Now, I'm sure a lot of people are going to disagree with the 84% of EV drivers have access to charging point at home because some people are putting these drains in, aren't they, across pavements, that sort of thing. Um, and of course, as I say to anyone who says, oh, well, there's nowhere to charge, I can't charge at home, I live in a city. Well, you know, talk to your employer, talk to your, the owner of your apartment you live in. Um, there's council grants available. Yeah, vast majority, 90% of EV drivers use the UK public charging network. Supermarkets, motorway service stations remain the most popular public locations. Most interesting fact here is that 8% are now charging at work and that's fantastic for those people that can't charge at home. That's really good. I haven't any figures of how many people who live in apartments can charge. Some can, but there, there are no figures available. So the way I charge at home is with a three pin plug. And it suits me and I will tell you why. So any home that's got a three pin plug can plug in and it gets you about 11 miles per hour charge. So let's say if you get in from work at six in the evening, and you're going to use not use the car till eight the following day is often the case. Uh, that will give you at least 140 miles in your car. So if you're only doing 50, 60, even 100, 120, that should be enough. But of course, if you want a home charger, they, they sort of start around about 900 pounds, something like that. It will put in three times as much charge. So you could, without doubt, you could do 200 miles a day or more, not a problem. That would charge up in that time from six to eight in the morning. If you want the better price, now, for instance, I'm on Octopus Energy and there are other available, various, uh, there are various schemes and it's changing all the time. Please let me know what you're on. And I think Octopus Energy do have a better one than I'm on. If you have a home charger, you can vary when the times that you put the energy in the car. I pay throughout the day 26 and a half P uh, kilo hour and between 12.30 and 5.30, eight and a half P a kilowatt hour. So I've set the car um, on schedule to charge at 12.30 and to stop at 5.30 and it puts in over 50 miles per day. Fine for me because I don't necessarily do 50 miles a day. I tend to do most of my miles on road trips, like uh, last month went down to Cornwall from the top of Scotland and uh, had a great time and did a lot of miles and using the Tesla superchargers, which are quite fantastic. Every now and again, I do like to look at the cost of charging my EV. Uh, compared to petrol, sometimes diesel. I know recently uh, uh, petrol's come down a bit in price, but then so has electricity. I looked at one of my previous videos and I was paying 9p a kilowatt hour and now I'm paying eight and a half. So that's actually come down a little bit. And I tend just to talk about my experiences, the things that I know. I don't have a home charge. I've just got the three pin But price. if we compare uh, prices of petrol to charging at home, 
Well, a gallon of petrol, looked it up this morning, costs £5.51 for a gallon. Most sites only give you litres, and I've always found that very, very frustrating. Is it me? Is it because I'm old? Are I talking gallons? Does everyone else talk in litres? I don't know. That's what it shows on the pumps. If we knew the real price, we probably wouldn't pay it. Now, the average car does 45 miles per gallon. And I know there will be some of you that do 80 and it only costs you two pounds, but that's great, congratulations. But the average does 45. And all those big SUVs out there, you ain't doing 45 miles per gallon, I don't think. Let me know if you are, that would be fantastic. So it will be costing 12 and a quarter P a mile if you're in the average car and it will be less if you do better, obviously. Now the Tesla, I do, since I've had the car for 24,000 miles, it's averaged 241 watts per mile, giving me a range of 207 miles, uh, with a 50 kilowatt battery. If I only charge at night, 12.30 to 5.30, that would cost me £4.25 and that equates to 2p a mile one sixth the price of petrol not bad so but if i charge during the day because it's dearer it's 26 and a half p that comes out at uh, six and a half p a mile half the price of petrol tesla superchargers vary in price they averaged about 40p a kilowatt hour some cheaper some were as low as 34p and uh, up to over 50p and so if with an average of 40p kilowatt hour that's going to cost you nine and a half p if you go to tesla superchargers which is less than petrol obviously there are other costs involved um, there are other savings involved um, insurance is no dearer uh, repairs are definitely less. I've had in three years I had a service that was free, so that was fantastic. I don't to go to the BP and the Shell and those very expensive ones because I just think they're ridiculous as price. Because I have other, I don't have to. I have Tesla superchargers, and I feel sorry for those people that do. But of course, if you have a petrol car and you see these, and you take a look at it, what seventy nine p, and then you work it out, you think, well, what's the point? Well, that's not the real world. You know, as far as my world is certainly not my world I charge at home and I use the Tesla superchargers now in answer to the earlier question was how far am I away from the nearest public charger it's two hours that's the nearest public charger because I have to take a ferry because I live in a very remote Scottish island and there are no charges on the island where I live with just a few hundred people the nearest tesla supercharger for me is at inverness and according to google maps it will take me six and a half hours to get there because i have to go on two ferries from the small island to the main island of orkney and then to the mainland of scotland and then it's about um, a couple of hours uh, drive more than two and a half hours drive um but that's fine for me because I only use the superchargers on long road trips. Now, it'd be interesting if anyone's further than that. Um, it, it suits me, um, charging at home, uh, running the Tesla, never going back, fantastic car, love it. It's a quiet and clean, and it's a fantastic car to drive. I've noticed on the, on the analytics, I get an awful lot of plus 60 people. So rock on the plus 60s, there's no 20, 30 year olds watching they're all playing video games or, 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 or I don't know but anyway um, if you're thinking of buying a Tesla you may want to buy a used one or any any EV frankly if you go to a specialist you know what they're talking about if you go to a dealer there's a good chance they'll steer you towards a petrol car because they'll make a lot more money out of that but if you go to a specialist used and there's some really good ones uh, that are on YouTube um, it's worth looking at them um, and seeing their deals and you can get a used Tesla for about twelve and a half thousand. If you're thinking of new, they've just changed it because they used, used to get a thousand pounds off uh, if you uh, use my link. Now it's only 500. Mm. 
But if you're in America, you'll get still get your thousand dollars. They probably thought, oh, we're giving these Brits too much because we were giving them a thousand pounds, which is worth a lot more than a thousand dollars. Anyway, please use a link. I've got to change that now because it says it says a thousand pounds. I've got to change it to five hundred pounds or a thousand dollars. Oh, does it ever end? And to top it all, the signs just come up to say that my windscreen washer level is low. So much to do, so little time. Does it ever end these blooming electric cars? Anyway, thank you. So thanks very much for watching. Hope you can subscribe and like, but well, that would be fantastic. Use my link to get money if, off if you're thinking of buying a Tesla. Don't forget to use your reusable coffee mug wherever you go. Thanks a lot. Bye.